Yeah, I built this trailer last year, put all new bearings in it, and, and couldn't get the, the slop out of the bearings without being too tight. And uh, so I decided to do something about it. Put together this uh, spindle nut, this trailer axle spindle nut shim pack. It's got three different sizes. 15 thousandths, 25 thousandths, 50 thousandths, and there's two of each. There's enough to do probably a couple of trailers anyway. And uh, what it allows you to do is get just the right preload on it to where it's not too loose, to where uh, it'll prematurely wear the bearing, the bearings out because you're not riding on the full roller or the consequently the full race or you have to go too tight to match your your locking pin holes and uh, then the bearing runs too hot so if I turn this down to the next one then it's too tight So I'm going to back this completely off. And I think we'll probably, uh, I'll try 25,000 some on this one. Let's see what that does. And what it allows it to do is to where you get the, just the right preload on the bearing where it's not too tight and not too loose and you can still match up with your locking pin hole. And that one's too tight. So we're going to have to Go to, the, go to the 50 thousandths, or maybe I'll just add another 15 on there. I'll put a 15 on it, see what that does. See, it gives you a, this kit it gives you a, a variety to where you can combination it, any number of them, or singular, to get just that, that right preload on the bearing and still line up with your your locking pin hole. And that one's too loose, so we're going to have to pull these guys out. Probably wouldn't hurt to have a magnet with you to help facilitate removal of these. I'm going to try 50 thousandths. There's nothing like being on the road and having a bearing going on in your trailer. And if you don't catch it in time, spindle goes away, and there, you, know, you have to stuck on the side of the road, and you got to get it hauled back or bring a bring a whole new axle to it and uh, change it out on the side of the road. You know that one. You always want to spin it a little bit. And it's going to take another combination here. 
the beauty about this kit, like I said, is you have enough enough of each combination to get it dialed in just right. This is a 25 thousandths. So we've got a combination of 50 and a 25 to, to get it to that sweet spot. And these axes only have one hole to get lined up with. And I'm going to have to do another one. You do have to have to play with it sometimes. And the one I just did over here it only took the first I hit it the first time. Perfect. Perfect. So what we ended up doing is using both the 50s in it and uh, to get that, find that sweet spot to where the hole lined up. Get the cotter key stuck back in here. Sometimes you gotta add a little bit of a twist so you can go around the corner on them. Just like that. I don't like to wind the cotter key all around everywhere because all you gotta do is keep it from backing out. And if you're on the road you gotta reuse it then it's not used up. I make this cap installer so you're not beating on the cap. And it uh, so it looks retains its shape and also it looks uh, looks better over time. Especially if you had chrome ones or whatever on there. So there we go. Spindle nut shims pack, two each, fifteen thousandths, twenty-five thousandths, fifty thousandths. Packaged and distributed by Bacchus Enterprises, Emmett, Idaho.